Okay, here we go. It's got, to, it's got to have more than just a quick flash in the pan of an idea. It's got to have something that sinks in, and maybe when you come back to it a second or third time, it has a little bit more depth to it. And then you question other things because of it. That's what art's supposed to do. A uh, year and a half ago, we did two pieces for UAMS, Winthrop Rockefeller Cancer Institute. Gosh, those pieces changed my life. Uh, the opportunity that I got to do and work with those people and learn about what they do to help people heal on a daily basis just changed the whole, just the whole view of how art can do something to better people's lives in a positive way. And then sometimes in the process of doing something, you understand what it means afterwards. And then it gets you into a whole other realm of thinking and working. Um, so my career has kind of had a really interesting evolution of, of large scale, small scale, temporary, permanent. I've done set designs. Uh, I've done a lot of lecturing, you know, all around the Midwest and South and East. Uh, but one of the things that I try to keep coming back to is to find ways to keep getting new energy. And so I'll kind of seek out opportunities sometimes, sometimes either through my family or through school or, or, or just come across something, just kind of stumble upon it. Um, and then I find something I think is intriguing. I wonder, what would it be like if I tried that? What would happen? Uh, what would I learn? How would I go? So I'm, I'm a perpetual just keep moving forward and keep thinking. This is my 22nd year here at ULR. Uh, when we first started looking at coming to Little Rock, uh, there were a number of things that appealed to me. One is just the state itself, just the, the beautiful parks that it has, the outdoors, the activities that you can do. And growing up in Illinois, uh, one of the big things that we did in the summer times in the spring and the fall was visit and, and camp and hike and canoe and stuff. So moving from here from South Dakota, was a, was a dramatic change, but we moved here primarily because we wanted to be in a metropolitan area, um, but not in, not in a really large city. We felt that Little Rock was really a good fit for us with her degree in business and my degree in art. Being here, one of the things that I had the great opportunity because I'm here, I could do a monumental piece for Central High School, the commemorative garden that I collaborated with with an alumni, Aaron Hussey. Um, we're able to produce something that's set on, uh, on an, and compete on a national level and win a hundred thousand dollar commission. And it's in a national park, and it, it really is an outstanding piece. The classroom is—it's a work in progress, and I get as much from it as I'm hoping that they are. There's a couple of key phrases that I tell them. One is they say that your work is an investment portfolio. The more you invest in it, the more interest you're going to get. The harder you work, the more you generate with your ideas, the more people are going to see that and they're going to understand that and go, this guy's thinking. This woman's creating something that's unique and interesting. I, I relate to that. I connect to that. That's, I appreciate the hard work you put into it. So this, this, this whole positive thing that art doesn't take time. You give it time. You invest in who you are and what you do in your work. Another thing is that I'll say my job. Here's my job description. Help you find your voice help you find a job. That's my job.